What's going on guys? Austin Zabak back to you with another video and I'm super excited for today's video. Today's video is something that uh, has really you know, been on my mind lately and something that I think is super important for millennials to hear. Uh, and what that is, is, as you probably saw in the thumbnail or you read in the description, is that I think millennials are entitled, I think millennials are lazy, and I think millennials just don't want to get out of their house and really put in the work for the most part. Now, with that being said, I am a millennial, okay? I'm 22 years old, and uh, you might be thinking to yourself right now, well, Austin, uh, you're talking crap about yourself. In fact, I'm not. I just think this is the majority of the millennials. I, I don't believe that I fall into this category, and I'll explain why. So here's what I think. I think that we grow up in a world right now, right, where, uh, and I'm going to lead this actually into real estate, okay, and I, and I want you to kind of bear with me because this is really going to hit home and this is really going to make sense to you guys here in just a moment. So we grow up in a world where social media is at the palm of our hands. You know, we have Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, uh, you know, we had obviously MySpace, you know, we have all these different platforms. We have YouTube, obviously. And getting rich or getting wealthy in the yachts and the boats and the cars and the Lamborghinis and the girls or whatever it is that you're looking for or that you're after in life, it looks easy, okay? It looks simple. It looks easily attainable and it looks like something that you can just go out and you can have in a fairly short amount of time. And that's the way that people want to portray it on these platforms because they're trying to sell you whatever it is that they're trying to sell you. And I have no problems with that, guys. There, there are ways that you can make money fast, okay? Um, but with that being said, it's far and few between. Very few people actually do it. And uh, you know that's just statistics for you. So what I really wanted to talk to you guys about here is, you know, I think millennials, um, you know, you, you see this a lot, and I'll, I'll give you an example. Like, for instance, your cell phone. Uh, very few people anymore will actually get on the phone and call another person and say, hey, my name's Austin, you know, pleasure to, pleasure to talk to you or whatever the case is. Instead, uh, they want to just text. They want to have a text conversation. They want to talk via email. They want to talk via a YouTube comment or an Instagram comment or Facebook comment or uh, they want to do something like that. But very rarely is it that people want to get on uh, in front of a camera or they want to get on the phone or they want to get face to face with somebody. And I think that's getting to be more and more of a problem as time goes along. And really what I see happening here is millennials, a lot of people my age and people slightly younger than me and, and slightly older than me, they're more and more and more unwilling to go out and do the grind and go out and really put in the hard work and the sacrifice and the sweat, the tears, the blood, the, the long nights, the, the, the whatever it takes mentality into their craft, okay, into whatever it is that they're trying to do. Rather, they want to search on YouTube all day, read books and figure out ways to make hundreds of thousands of dollars or thousands of dollars or hundreds of dollars online on Amazon, on Shopify, on all these different uh, you know, platforms, social media, they wanna be a social media influencer, right? They wanna be a fitness model. They just want to do something online. They wanna wake up, you know, watch Netflix, chill for the majority of the day, and then just you know, get rich or make a ton of money. And while that is possible, okay, that is very possible, okay? I'm not, I'm not if you do Amazon, you do Shopify, you do anything like that, uh, there's nothing against any of those industries at all. Nothing, nothing at all. There's a lot of money to be made there. There's a lot of people making a lot of money and a lot of good friends of mine are making a lot of money in those industries. With that being said, I think there are too many people that are trying to go down those avenues. There needs to be more people that are willing to put in the grind in other aspects. Not everybody's meant to sit behind a computer and do that all day, every day. And this is where it rolls into real estate. It's interesting because there is so much money, so much money. It is literally ridiculous how much money there is in real estate. Being a real estate agent, I mean, I can close one deal. I did this on Friday, okay? Right now is Wednesday. If you're watching this, I'm either gonna post it tonight or tomorrow. Right now is Wednesday evening. I did a deal on Friday, I answered my phone, I answered my cell phone. I picked it up, I put in maybe an hour's worth of work total, and I made $17,000 on the deal, and I'll collect my money in 10 days from right now. As a real estate agent, okay? Same thing applies, wholesaling real estate. 
Same thing applies buying and fixing and flipping real estate. Same thing applies in all avenues of real estate. I'm talking about just being a real estate agent. Okay, but what's interesting about this industry, and more and more millennials are adapting to it by the way, but if you're watching this, I suggest that you really think about it. Because how many shirts do you have to sell to make 17 grand? How much do you have to sell on Amazon to make 17 grand? How, what do you have to do in other aspects of life to make that kind of money? The barrier of entry to real estate is so incredibly low, it is outrageous. To be an investor, you don't need any, any experience, any anything, any schooling, any anything. You just do it. I have videos on it. It's very simple. Not easy, but simple. To be a real estate agent, you take 90 hours worth of schooling in Arizona and other states. It might go up 20 or 30 hours, but no more than that. I'm dropping a real estate agent mastery course on this. Okay, how to go from being a nobody, knowing nothing about real estate, to being a badass millennial real estate entrepreneur, agent, but knowing all things about real estate. Point I want to get across is, guys, the barrier of entry is so stinking low, and the only thing you're missing is, yeah, guess what? You got to get outside of your house. You got to actually maybe buy a dress shirt or two, okay? You got to, you know, go out and talk to a couple of people. Go out and network with a couple of people. Guys, it isn't sexy. Becoming successful isn't sexy, and I think there's a misconception in the world that we live in today that becoming successful is sexy, and it is not sexy. You got to put in the grind, the resilience, the grit, the sacrifice, the long nights, the late hours, the, the, the no's, the, get, the doors getting slammed in your face. That's all part of it. Is it possible to go make a lot of money on the internet? Absolutely. But is it for everybody? Absolutely not. So if you're watching this right now and you know, you're not really sure what you want to do, I encourage you to potentially think about real estate. Not because I'm in it, not because I, I want to sell you my course. I, I really could care less, to be honest with you. I made the course if, if you want to buy it and when it launches, and you know, by all means, I, I think it will change your life. Be a part of the community and uh, you know, I'll be here for you as a personal mentor. But aside from all that, real estate, the barrier of entry, are you kidding me? So low. Your network is your net worth. You know, my mentor once told me, he said, Austin, your network will determine your net worth without a shadow of a doubt. Sitting behind the computer selling products on Shopify is not going to increase your network, unfortunately. You might make money, well that's great, but you're probably going to spend the money as fast as it comes in. Go out and network with people. I can tell you right now that I've never met anybody online yet that's making hundreds of millions of dollars. I know a lot of people in real estate that have made hundreds of millions of dollars, billions of dollars, okay? Thousands, Psh, that's easy, easy stuff. But it's not sexy. You gotta get out, you gotta grind, you gotta go to the coffee shops, you gotta introduce yourself to people. Say, hi, my name's Austin. Nice to meet you, John. I'm a real estate agent, right? Get out there, make it happen. But I'm telling you right now, if you're looking for an industry where you can achieve your dreams beyond your wildest imagination, you can retire your parents, you can retire your grandparents, you can, you can travel the world, you can do whatever it is that you want to do, wake up when you're done sleeping, you know, do literally whatever it is that you want to do. Make as much money as you want to make. Create your own schedule. Meet the most amazing people on the planet. I'm telling you right now, it's real estate. Real estate's where everybody wants to be at the end of the day. It's only growing. The industry is only growing. And I hope that if you're a millennial and you're watching this, you understand that uh, I'm a normal average 22-year-old kid with above average goals and dreams. I'm, no, I'm, I'm, I'm nothing special. You know, I went to a normal store and bought this shirt. This is my house. I'm making a YouTube video. I wasn't always good on camera. I'm still not amazing on camera, right? It just takes time, it just takes effort, it just takes sacrifice. But you have to be willing to put in the work. You have to be willing to think outside of the box. And you have to be willing to do what other people aren't willing to do. And a lot of people aren't willing to get into real estate because they're afraid. They're afraid of what might happen to them. They're afraid that it might not work out. They're afraid of the unknown. They're afraid of the uncertainty. You have to make a decision to go all in with your life. 
Whatever it is that you decide to do. Maybe it is something online. I, I'm doing stuff online, there's nothing wrong with that. Diversify, do more. But whatever it is that you decide to do, make the decision to go all in. It's not sexy. It's painful. It takes hard work. It takes sacrifice. It takes grit. It takes resilience. I want you to go out there. I want you to work your stinking ass off and make all of your dreams and all of your goals a reality. Because you deserve greatness. Just like I deserve greatness, and just like anybody else deserves greatness. And if you put in the work and you do what it takes, you will achieve that greatness. 100% of the time, without a shadow of a doubt. If you're looking to get into real estate, I'm dropping the Real Estate Mastery course in a couple of weeks. Just understand one thing, you don't need to be anybody special. You can be 18 years old, right out of the bat, right out of the gate, right out of high school. 1.7 GPA in high school. I'm telling you, you have what it takes to make a six-figure income in real estate within the next six to 12 months. If you just put your mind down, just put your head down, just put in the work, just sacrifice, be willing to do whatever it takes, be willing to get outside of your comfort zone, be willing to make it happen, I promise you, nobody said it would be easy, they just promised it would be worth it. With that guys, hope you got something out of this video. Title of it's probably gonna be, It's Not Sexy. <laughs> Anyways, Austin Zay back here, uh, signing off, and hopefully we'll see you guys in the next video. If you haven't already, smash that subscribe button, smash that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell so you know the next time I'm going live, the next time I'm posting a video, and until then guys, we'll see you in the next one.